back to Live, Live at, at the, the Hive. Hive. I'm MC Martino. And I'm Robert Orion. And we're going to jump right into our first project here by Ryan Andrews and Shaylin Bivens titled Favorite School Activity. Let's see it. Hello, Yellow Jackets. My name is Ryan Andrews. And today we interviewed some students on what their favorite school activity is. I just like playing basketball. Uh, I really enjoy being in BSU because I'm the vice president. So, Why? Um, it brings cultural awareness and it makes you pretty, you know, aware of what's going on in the world, um, racially and in the government and stuff like that. The rallies because they're lit and I like the music they play. The ball games because like the student body comes in and fills up the seats. And when you get to hear band perform and they practice a lot. And color guard gets to go out there and practice a lot. And then we have the student section, they're all throwing baby powder and stuff, it's freaking cool. And I like in the booth when they're talking about us, Mr. Bricky's up there doing his thing and I like winning and it's fun. It's nice. My favorite school activity is cross country because we have that really great bond connection and how it's like most sports I see in track, you probably don't have that really good connection with other with other teammates. You do, but depending on the best that you do. But as I believe in cross, you get really well with your friends and you have that trust bond. You really just have a really fun time doing the sport. The football games, it's specifically the spirit sections because all of the students come together and cheer on our teams and stuff. Okay. Games, basketball games. Why? They're fun to hang out at, meet new people. Time hey, it's the rallies. It's a kind of fun to go to. The rallies. Why? Because it gets like everyone like involved in the rallies. Get everyone pumped up, ready for like dances or whatever. Dances. Why? Cause they're fun. Akadeka. <laughs> Definitely Akadeka. If you're watching on YouTube, let us know your favorite school activity in the comments. Now let's go to MC. Our next project is about Akadeka and CSF, so let's hear about them. CSF is hosting their annual university tour. My name is Grace Duen and I'm treasurer of CSF. Um, what is, the, what is CSF all about? Um, CSF stands for California Scholarship Federation, and it's about um, giving students, when they graduate, it's about giving them scholarships. So the trip we're having is a two-day trip where we visit six colleges, and the trip is just for um, students who want to go visit the colleges and see what the colleges are like before they apply. We're visiting um, UC Berkeley, UC Merced, UC Davis, Stanford, Cal Poly, and SF. To sign up, first you need to pay a down payment to Mrs. Murray, who's the bookkeeper by the ASB room, and then you just go to Mr. Mastoa's classroom in the F building to get a packet. Mm -hmm. That's left, so if you're interested in coming along to just go um, visit the schools and see what the campuses are like, you should definitely sign up. This year's sign-ups end on February 8th, but next year you can sign up for when they go down south. So Rachel, um, can you tell us what Akadeka means? Akadeka um, is academic decathlon. And so, how do you guys practice and study for this? We each get packets in each subject. And then we also um, have we also have um, speeches that we'll do, and then we'll practice them in circles, or we'll practice them with each other, or we'll just study in the library. Like the Jewish victims of the Nazis, or E, a modernist style applied to old symbols. If you'd like to join CSF. You should definitely contact Mr. Mistoa and keep in mind that I was the vice president, but now I'm not. So, if you'd also like to join Akadeka, you should talk to Mr. Borneman. This next project is a very nice thank you. To Dr. Rieger and for everything he's done for us here at OHS. We really appreciate all of his hard work, so let's see it. I do love it here. Uh, I'm not leaving because I want to, I'm leaving because I feel like I need to. 
After seven years as principal, this June, Dr. Riga will resign. It's a kind of a mix of health issues and getting my life in order so I can uh, attend to my children more. He, he knows how to put people in a position to succeed. His job is one of management and leadership. Like he's made a great connections with the students, and the players, student athletes. He's always been very supportive of programs that help kids and he finds a way to get them funded and that's a hard job and I think that he's done it well. What I would challenge the next administration to do is to get us to go from great to exceptional. I've always appreciated and respected him. Especially on the sideline, I'd always say hi to Dr. Rieger. He'd always, you know, tell me, good job, I'm doing great. He'd always tell me what I got to do or what I don't have to do. So, yeah, I'm going to miss him. Thank, Thank you, Dr. Rieger. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rieger. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rieger. Thanks, Dr. Rieger, for being such a cool principal, having such great vibes all the time. Hopefully I'll see you around at Lazy Dog. Thank you for what you have done. Hope to see you next time. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Dr. Rieger. Thank you, Dr. Rieger. Thank you, Dr. Rieger. Thank you for helping me out with my science test. Since you're leaving, man, I just want to say thank you very much for being our principal for, I don't know, I don't know how many years, but you're just, you're so awesome, and I'm going to miss you when you're gone. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rieger. Thank you, Dr. Rieger. And I think, like a lot of people, I wish him the best. And, um, and I think he should be proud of his time at Oxnard High. The desire to be the best, I think, is what I'd want people to remember about um, the years that I was here. I do love it here. Thank you, Dr. Rieger. Thank you. So now, Mr. Lejean is going to say a few words. Hey, Dr. Rieger, from the music department and myself, I'd like to thank you for supporting our music program, and we hope you had a good time enjoying that music. Also, we'd like to report to everyone that Dr. Rieger had a pretty bad accident Memorial Day, um, barbecuing and propane and he was burned pretty badly. But we also like to report that he's doing well and he will be at our graduation today overseeing our graduation and sending our seniors off on their future. So we'd like to thank you, Dr. Regan, and to everybody else. Remember, if you play with fire, you might get burnt. To infinity and beyond, thank you very much. See you later. Well, that just wraps up, that just about wraps up our second and final show of the year. We'd like to thank you and we'd like to see you next time at Live, Live at the, the Hive! Hive.